Hi folks, my name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. Following our previous video of how to never repeat PA chest x-rays again, here are some pointers in taking perfect lateral chest x-rays in a clinical environment. Lateral chest x-rays are accepted as the easier part of the chest x-ray series. However, the standards for acceptance for these views are a little more relaxed than those for the PA or AP views. When a patient is posing for a lateral chest x-ray, the operator must make sure that he or she is standing with their left shoulder and side flush against the chest board. They must have their feet shoulder width apart and their elbows flexed and out in front of them. Their chin is up. Do not allow the patient to lean against the chest board, but rather to stand with their side against the board, firmly supporting themselves. If they lean, it will distort the x-ray, causing the base of the lungs to be malaligned. Never ask the patient to hold their arms out in front of them, like Superman in flight. This can cause them to unconsciously sway back and forth. It is better to simply rest their hands on their head. You can have them hold on to a stationary bar, arms extended out, or if need be, use a broomstick in front of them. When their hands are on their head, encourage them to close their elbows together in front of them. This forces the body to line up in a uniform fashion and we know that the arms are out of the field. Simply align them to the center of the chessboard, minimizing their kyphotic and lordotic variances as much as possible. What that means is that you can encourage the body into a straight line, adjusting the upper back upright or even leaning the patient so that their spine appears to be more vertical. To make sure that the patient is indeed lateral, place your hand behind their back. Rotate their body slightly so that their shoulder blades or scapulae look perfectly lateral in contrast to the chest board. Next, have the patient take in one deep breath and make sure that there is no rotation that occurs with this measure. Make adjustments if need be, so that when they do inspire, that they will display a perfectly lateral position during the exposure. Your centering point should be at the mid-coronal plane, which is exactly where you would touch someone if you were trying to tickle them in the side of the ribs. Far be that from a technical description, I have found it to be relatively accurate. The centering point vertically would be just below the inferior margin of the scapular angle, or the bottom of the scapula. The cassette and bucky should be lined up with the tube head. The x-ray plate, if it is a 14 by 17 plate, should be oriented in portrait position and the collimator light should correspond with these alignments. That being said, the top of the light margin should extend about 5 centimeters above the shoulders so that the airway is visualized in the final x-ray. Refer to your facility technique chart for the appropriate technique factors. A standard KV of 95 to 110 is normal for these x-rays. The mass will vary. Prior to the exposure, have the patient take in a good breath, breathe out, then a deep breath, and hold. You should already be prepping the rotor ready to expose at this point. So when the patient is holding their breath, you are executing an immediate exposure. Upon final evaluation, you should check your images to make sure that the ribs are overlapping one another and that your ribs don't resemble prison wire on the patient's backside. If there is a lot of this type of curling, it means your patient is rotated and may constitute a repeat x-ray. As in anything, x-rays take practice in the beginning, but as experienced techs will attest, it becomes natural and specialists develop their own methods for higher performance and perfection. That concludes this segment on Master Lateral Chest X-Rays Like a Pro. If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner, and I'm the Radiology Coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.